Good morning, I am in our freshly organized man cave and I'm finally getting the chance to get to the Crisco boxes that were delivered the other day. I'm just gonna get them out onto the air hockey table and I'll go through what we got with you. I put the full box in this freezer the other day because I was in such a hurry and I'm just hoping I can get it out. Okay, I finally got that out of the freezer. It took a bit of work, but these are the three boxes we got. Now this one here is a present for Christmas and I was a little bit worried how it was going to come because obviously I don't want the little kids to see it because it's a present for them and it came like this so you don't need to worry about that if you order Crisco it's all discreetly wrapped. So this is actually just a mini swimming pool that they're going to be able to use on the day. They won't see this vlog so it's okay. So first thing we got was that. Then we've got this box of frozen stuff. So this is the Christmas table roast hamper and it comes with one lamb roast, a boneless Mediterranean marinade, some easy cut shoulder ham, a Steggles chicken, Steggles turkey and two rolled pork leg roasts. So I'm going to get that out and make sure it's all there. Here we go, we've got the chicken and the turkey that's pretty decent size couple of the pork roast bones and rolled. This is just a tiny little lamb roast. So I'm thinking I might just put that in the kitchen to use before Christmas because that's not really going to do much on Christmas Day for our family. And then also this easy cut shoulder ham. So what happened last year is we got a huge Crisco haul, biggest one I've ever done. It was over four and a half thousand dollars throughout the year. I did go a little crazy. What happened was I also entered the Crisco competition where if you took a photo of your Crisco delivery um, and tagged it with it's Crisco day, then you entered the competition to win one of $5,000 gift cards towards Crisco hampers for the next year. And we won one of the thousand dollars. So we got the swimming pool, the meat hamper, I got an icy pole hamper, which I'll show you next, and I decided to use $500 of it just for Coles gift vouchers. That way we could do a proper shop for Christmas this year without having to spend any money. So that's what we did, but we have already used one of them almost fully. We got four legs of lamb. So we've got four big legs of lamb as well in this freezy here. So they're just in there, one, two, three, four. And then I did get a few other things along the way with that gift card and I'm going to be using the rest of it to make some party food for the boys, uh, school parties, end of year parties at school that's coming up next weekend, which means we'll have $250 left for Christmas Day, excluding the meat. So that should be plenty. I'm going to open the icy pole one now because even though it is summer and it is let me show you the weather outside. We haven't been able to get to the backyard. It is a disaster, but it's next on the list. This is the weather out there right now. So hopefully it gets nice and warm before Christmas day. But the plan is next weekend, we're gonna be doing front and backyards because the kids love icy poles and if it's nice and hot, then they'll go through them pretty quick. So this is the icy sticks hamper. Six 24 packs of Quelch Tropical Fruit Flavor Icy Poles and six 24 packs of Zupa Dupa Cosmic Flavor. That's them there, just a couple of big boxes. So I can put all of that straight in this freezer, which is now in the man cave, easily accessible. pop this one in our kitchen we might have that tonight even and now I'm just gonna open the pool I wasn't gonna open it but I think I will just to make sure it's exactly what I ordered and to make sure it's all good and then I'll hide it straight in the storage so let's open it up I'm super happy with that because they've just had that tiny little shell pool which they've really outgrown 
And I've already got them the goggles and Violet's got some little arm floaties that we got the other day at the shops. It's got a nice shade cover so they won't get burnt under there. Looks really good. It always looks bigger on the pictures but it's going to be really fun for the kids. I'm going to go pop that in the storage while the boys are at school and Violet's asleep. So that's our Crisco haul for this year. Nowhere near the size of last year's one, but it's pretty much been free. I only paid about $2 a week extra on top of the $1,000 that we won last year. That's been really good. I haven't decided if I want to do it again next year or not because it's, it's not the greatest value, but it's also you're paying a little bit for an experience because it's very exciting when it comes and everyone gets really excited. Um, we don't have a stockpile anymore because we moved the stockpile into an area that Baden could have so that he's got like a lounge room area like almost like a mini apartment so we don't have a stockpile anymore but it was super fun filling the stockpile up last year with the Crisco stuff and when I was doing the pantry clean out the other day you may have seen I still got some stuff from Crisco 12 months later so I'm still deciding if I want to do it again this year I should I should start a head start plan while I decide because you can get that fully refunded. Mm, I'm not sure. I'm not really sure what we're doing for food this week. We had to do a mini shop because we had a bit of a unexpected dental expense for one of the kids, which was over $400. So some of that came out of the grocery budget for the week and some will come out of the next grocery budget. So I'm gonna do a bit of a pantry and fridge scrounge around and see what I can make for dinners, lunches, breakfasts, all next week. So I'm gonna leave this vlog here. It was just a quick one today, just to show you what we got from Crisco and to make sure I opened it and sorted it out. So let me show you all the meat and frozen stuff that we got. Two packets of crumbed chicken nuggets and two packets of crumbed chicken tenders, two packets of tempura chicken crackles, two packets of tempura chicken nuggets, two packets of tempura dino nuggets, and two packs of crumbed chicken fingers. And then we have three packets of roast potatoes, some frozen veggies, carrots, broccoli, and cauliflower, beans, peas, and corn. A little bit of dessert here, apple pie, and a four pack of blackberry and apple pies. Two liter of Peter's original ice cream, some mixed berries, and some chocolate pudding. And then all this frozen meat, we got a leg ham, a pork roast, and two roast chickens. They came with that box. And then in a separate one was all of this. So we've got, so I'm not gonna point out everything that will just take me too long, but I'll just read the list. We have boned and rolled pork leg roast, some pork four quarter chops, some lamb four quarter chops. We have a roast beef. We have a size 16 chicken. We have skin off breast fillets. We have pork loin steak. We have beef sausages, porterhouse beef strip loin steaks, scotch fillet steaks. Taravelli beef schnitzel, Zamet rindless middle bacon, Taravelli beef barbecue steak, beef rump steaks, and lean mints. That's all for the frozen. I'm just gonna quickly chuck that in our chest freezer. We're gonna head out and then we'll come back when everyone's home to check out what's in all of the green boxes. Hi, we're way over here. <laughs> we have a bunch of different flavors of soft drink. Also, cordial, Cotty's cordial, two different flavors. Uh, sparkling apple juice, lemonade, Lemon lime bitters, cream soda, raspberry, solo, no sugar coke for some reason. <laughs> and we've got standard bottles of coke as well. There's got to be 20 plus bottles here. And just as a side note, since it did take so long to set up last night, a few things have already been taken out of this haul. Variety packs of chips. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve different variety packs of chips, brain waves. Doritos, Twisties. Grain Waves is your favourite? Yeah. Sauces. So a whole sauce section. A whole section of different flavours of Fountain brand sauces. We've got tomato sauce, barbecue sauce, steak sauce, plum sauce, spicy red sauce, soy and honey, mint sauce. There's about uh, another 20 odd bottles of sauces of various flavours. So we have the LCM's split sticks four boxes of split sticks there, three boxes of different flavors of cake mixes. We've got Uncle Toby's muesli bars. We've got more of the snacks up here, and then we've got some packets of sultanas and some packets of sultana and cranberries. Heaps of tiny teddy boxes over there. Some Oreo originals, Milo dipped snack bars, more muesli bars over there, some cookies, more LCMs, heaps of shapes. 
one little packet of shapes there. Some more shapes over there. More LCMs there. Some apricot bites. I think there's three bags of them. A whole heap of SPC fruit and jelly. Some K-Time bars. A big stack of roll-ups. There's some more cake mixes there, about four or five boxes. There's the natural confectionery, little mini bags of lollies. Heaps of mini bite rice wheel snacks. That's kind of all the snacky, school snacky stuff. We've got a bunch of two minute noodles here, different flavors, chicken, beef, and mee goreng. Then we've got six packets of Zupa Dupas and six packets of Quelch Icy Poles. Couple of pancake mixes there and there's some thick and rich chocolate sauce and caramel sauce. Six tins of Nesquik. Then we've got all our biscuits. We've got butternut snap cookies. We've got heaps of the assorted biscuit packets there. Family favorites. Tim Tams, we've got some sesame snaps in there. All different Tim Tams. Milk arrowroot biscuits, scotch fingers, ripple. We've got some savory crackers there, Jats and Cars. Delta creams and wagon wheels. Oreos, Tina wafers, Kingston biscuits, and a whole heap of biscuits over there as well. So there's a few packets of Primas and Big M chocolate milk. We've got a heap of tin food there, which is spaghetti, baked beans, corn, that sort of thing. There's a bit of juice behind it. Primas and some cans of sparkling water. We've got applesauce down in there, some Nutella, peanuts, and brown sugar, some mac and cheese and some laughing cow cheese. Some taco stand and stuff kits. You can see over there the cheddar cheese, two blocks of that. Some whole grain mustard. We've got condensed milk hiding in there and some tea and coffee, three jars of Vegemite, three jars of peanut butter, some chips, original Smiths and Doritos. There's some more chocolate sauce in there, some jam, mayonnaise, some salt and pepper, and I think it was ground cloves. We've got three jars of Nutella, some stuffing mix, and two little sachet things of gravy. Hiding down there are some mince pies, fruit mince pies. We've got a box of roses and some shortbread biscuits, some custard powder, and some chocolate covered almonds. A couple of packets of curried sausages, seasoning, Christmas pudding. There's some cranberry sauce there. We've got more biscuits, which I showed you before. So we have a bunch of different pasta sauces, the 15 different ones. We've got cans here of tuna, baked beans, crushed tomatoes, corn, beetroot, spagosaurus, tomato and cheese. Kids will love that. And just a bunch more spaghettis behind here as well. Some of the up and goes. Big box of wheat bix here. We've got more boxes of small boxes of wheat bix cereal. About four boxes there. We've got rice bubbles. Crunchy nut cornflakes, Fruit Loops, more Fruit Loops, Nutri Grain, Corn Flakes, Cocoa Pops, Pringles, Cooking Oil. And then we come down to our chocolates and lollies. And oh my goodness, I'm not going to say them all because there is so much. Got some favorites chocolates there. And just a whole big mixture of chocolates and lollies. And just here we have some more juice and some cotties. No sugar cans. Tub of Skittles and some more cereal down here. Cornflakes, Crunchy Nut, Special K, Nutri Grain, Sultana Brand, Rice Bubbles, Fruit Loops, Wheat Bix, Wheat Bix Bites, Just Right, and more Wheat Bix, which is very good because we love Wheat Bix in this house. Then above that, we've got a lot of pasta, beef powder, and chicken powder, two of each. We've got a couple of long grain white rice. I think this is just microwavable one. It's already cooked. Then we've got some chicken rice, oriental rice and some alfredo packets a couple more jams tins of milo some chicken tonight and some canton honey sesame and garlic flavor and a couple of thousand island sauces which are yummy and then we got some non-edible things we got a little hand sanitizer and some shoe polish for school shoes some sandwich bags some oven bags and two packets of foil fresh discs for the toilet a drink bottle Got some Dettol surface cleanser, got some drain cleaner, some shower power, duck, toilet cleanser, handy handy, floors, some mold power, glade sweet smelling thing, <laughs> sweet smelling glade, got some antibacterial bathroom cleaner, two, two bottles of that, air freshener, and finally some Windex. We have a couple of giant Crayola colouring pages. 
some pencils, glitter glue, and some twistable crayons, some more pencils, and some retractable markers, so textures. We've got some chalk for the concrete outside, which will be lots of fun. And this big 140 piece art case, it's actually quite heavy, so that's a really good quality one. Coloring book, another coloring book, Colours and stickers with Peppa Pig. Colour and stickers with the Disney princesses. And colour and stickers with the Avengers. Then we have a make your own jewellery creation packet. And a marker airbrush. That's all we have for this massive, massive Crisco haul. Now we've put it away. Yes, I'm looking forward to putting it in the stockpile. I'm going to show you what the stockpile looks like now and then we'll show you what it looks like when we're done. So we've been hinting for quite a while that we've got a big haul coming and that's why our stockpile is very empty but we're going to have to make sure we move all this stuff to the front. This is how it looks now. The shelves are all empty. So this is before Crisco. Everything's nice and full. We're already starting to go through the cereal. And then these drawers are all full. Biscuits, chocolates and lollies. This is gonna hopefully last a while. That was full. I'm not sure why that's so empty. Oh no, I do know why, because Elliot made lolly bags for his birthday at school. That's why that's empty. What's empty? What's and empty? then icy poles down here and here. And also, the freezer is nice and full as well. Not cold. It's pretty cold. Can you say bye bye? Can you go say bye bye? Yeah. Till tomorrow. Your roommate. Bye.